Hey, I'm Vinny and this is Makeify. So I don't have an edge joiner. I kind of wish I did, but uh, they're pretty big and I don't think I could actually fit one down here in the basement. Uh, and they're also a little pricey. So instead what I did was I made this edge jointing sled, jig, whatever you want to call it, for the table saw. And it allows me to take rough lumber and cut two nice straight parallel edges, which is quite handy. Now there are lots of other videos on the internet uh, showing how to make this type of jig, uh, but I haven't seen one that does it quite like I do it, and I kind of like the way I do it, so I'm gonna show you how I made this. All right, so I'm gonna use this piece of Baltic birch plywood for the main body of the, the sled, the jig. And it's important to use a high quality plywood um, oh, you could use a solid piece of wood, but the nice thing about a quality plywood is that you know the top and bottom faces are perfectly flat and parallel, but I, I suppose you could use a solid piece of wood. But it's important to use a high quality piece of plywood because something like this Baltic birch plywood has lots of little plies and each layer is of high quality. Your cheap like construction grade plywood only will have, I don't know, like five layers. And there's a lot of voids in there, but a high quality plywood is gonna have lots of plies and not gonna have any voids in there. And that, that's, that's important. And I'll explain why in just a little bit. Now I'm gonna cut this piece of wood down to size. And the nice thing about this sled is that you can really make it any size you want. All right, got the wood cut to size, and I just left this piece at the width that it was, which was like 17 inches. Um, that seemed good. I wanted it larger than 12 inches, but eh, 17 was fine, and I didn't have to make an extra cut. So, <laughs> but I did cut it to length to 36 inches. Uh, it just seemed like a good size for what I will probably be using this for. Next up, I'm going to cut a, a runner that'll fit in the this slot on my table saw. And for that, I'm going to use this piece of walnut. Uh, for a runner like this, you do want to use a hardwood, something that can take a beating. So this walnut should work well. All right, so I'm going to cut it to fit perfectly in this slot, except I'm going to cut it just a little short, just a little lower than, than the depth of the slot. So this looks like a pretty good fit. Now I'm just gonna drop in a couple of little nuts here into the slot and that'll just hold up the runner a little bit. And I'm gonna apply just a little bit of super glue, CA glue to this runner. And then very quickly flip the top over and line it up onto the runner uh, it actually doesn't have to be perfectly straight. It just has to stick over the blade a little bit because we'll, we'll cut this perfectly square to the blade here in a second. Just going to push it down until the glue dries. Now I can flip this over and that runner should be stuck to the bottom temporarily. And now I'm just going to drill some pilot holes onto the runner into the top. And then I'm just going to countersink those holes. And then drive some screws to hold the runner to the top permanently. Now I'm going to flip this over. Drop it into that slot there. Oh, what? Oh, shoot. I forgot to take the nuts out. All right, now I'm going to run this through the table saw to square up that edge. All 
Right, now I'm going to take this T slot router bit and route T shaped slots, <laughs> obviously, uh, lengthwise through uh, the sled. Probably going to do about four of them. But actually, first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a straight bit of the same size as the top part of the T uh, and route that first and then come in with the actual T slot to finish off the bottom of the T. That way it'll be a little easier um, on my router. All right, so the routering is done and it, it worked out okay. Uh, it would have worked out better, but I made a couple mistakes. One, over here, I forgot to double check the alignment when I was using the, the T-bit and I kind of screwed it up and so this part is kind of not usable. And then at the very end, the last one I was doing, the T-bit came out, started to come loose from my router and it like slid out and it caused it the router to kind of cut all the way through here. Um, so this part of this groove isn't really usable either. Uh, but the nice thing about kind of doing it, making a jig like this, this way, is that it's very easy to come back and make more grooves. Um, it's not, really not a big deal. Okay, now I'm gonna flip this over and apply just a quick coat of, of paste wax. And it'll just make this slide on the table saw um, a little easier. All right, so the last little bit is just need to add some tie down clamps. And these clamps have a T bolt that just slides right into the T slot and then you can just tighten them down. I will put a link to these clamps and the T slot bit down in the video description because especially the T slot bit is tough to find. All right, to use the sled, you take your board with rough edges. And this one's pretty bowed. And you just stick it on the sled. Take your clamps. Put them into the slot, just kind of good spots to hold it down well. Spin to tighten them. And you just want your board to overhang the edge of the sled just a little bit, because that's what's gonna, anything that's hanging off is gonna get cut off. So we just tighten these down. And then we just raise the blade up. And we'll fire this up and push it through the blade. All right, we just loosen the clamps. We have a nice flat edge that we can then run this along the fence and get a second flat parallel edge and have a nice edged board. And that's all there is to it. It's a pretty simple build. I like cutting my own T slots. You can buy like aluminum uh, channels that have the T slot cut in them and they're stronger, uh, but they're pretty pricey. This is a lot cheaper and way more versatile. I can cut these slots wherever, whenever, however I want. Uh, but you do need to use a quality plywood or solid wood, uh, otherwise, the, the slots just won't be strong enough to hold the clamps, especially if you really crank on that. So that's the only kind of caveat of that.
Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to keep up to date with my newest videos. Thanks for watching. And it allows me to cut two nice straight parallel edges onto some... Oh, my knees hurt. Oh my gosh. Oh, hello Dolly. Oh, that is painful. Okay. Did I just do that whole outro on the single take? That's never happened before. Yay me.